Chapter 1. Your wealth-building potential comes down to one person, and that's you. Too often, people buy into the myths about millionaires that have spread through our society. They think millionaires have some unique advantage or were born into money and have opportunities that aren't available to other people. They believe the headlines that say the rich get richer while the poor get poorer. So they do nothing, while fear takes them further away from where they want to be. Over time, Hogan began to wonder why he kept meeting millionaires everywhere he went, even when people said it was difficult to build wealth. He developed a passion for understanding what makes the average American millionaire different from everyone else. That passion led him to embark on a massive research project with the Ramsey Solutions research team. They interviewed over 10,000 Americans with a net worth of more than $1 million, meaning the total of all their assets, bank accounts, and investments, minus any debts, totals $1 million or more. The research team discovered that the majority of millionaires were hiding in plain sight. The thing that sets them apart isn't the amount in their investments or retirement accounts. It's their mindset about money. To become a millionaire, you need to be willing to seek information on how to better yourself and your business. A study from Spectrum Group's 2017 Market Insights report shows that there are almost 11 million millionaires in the United States today. That's more millionaires than ever before. That same report shows the number of people living paycheck to paycheck are on the rise with one in three people unable to cover a $2,000 emergency with cash. Everyone has a choice now. You can adopt the millionaire mindset for yourself or choose to leave your wealth building to chance. Whatever decision you make carries consequences and will determine your future. Keep reading to discover how you can rise above the myths about wealth and become an everyday millionaire. Chapter 2. Myths about wealth prevent you from staying open to new ideas and opportunities. Growing up, Hogan believed millionaires were born into money and felt like the odds were against him. His family wasn't poor, but they weren't wealthy either. Back then, he thought the key to building wealth was to chase after a higher income. But he soon realized that he was wrong. Hogan decided to change his budget and made saving and investing his top priorities. He stopped wasting money and put every dollar to work, building the life that they once thought was impossible. Before Hogan knew it, he had become a millionaire. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford The word millionaire means different things to different people. There's an emotional component and a mathematical component. On the emotional side, people desperately want to experience a sense of financial independence. But the millionaire status is more mathematical than emotional. A millionaire is simply someone whose net worth, everything you own minus everything you owe, is at or above $1 million. If you believe you can never become a millionaire, then you will always be right. You'll never save enough or work hard enough to overcome that belief. However, if you open yourself up to the possibility that you will become a millionaire, it can become a reality. You have to believe that you have what it takes. Of course, if you set your goals toward millionaire status, there will be plenty of people who will try to convince you it can't be done. They'll explain all the reasons why someone like you can't become a millionaire. When anyone says you can't do it, don't believe it. Just put all your effort and work into proving them wrong. Chapter 3 Sometimes, situations can get difficult, but a positive attitude will keep you ahead. According to Hogan's research, most millionaires are first-generation rich. That means they worked hard, made sacrifices, and lived on a plan. While some people like to believe rich people are just born wealthy, statistics prove otherwise. The definitive list of wealth in America is the Forbes 400. This is a highly researched, well-maintained annual list of the wealthiest people in the United States. At the top of the 2017 list is Bill Gates, with a net worth of $89 billion. Of all 400 people on the 2017 list, only 7% benefited from entirely inherited fortunes with no additional effort of their own. It means more billionaires rose from nothing and overcame incredible adversity than those who simply received an inheritance from their parents and lived off it without contributing to the wealth themselves. Almost everyone included in the Forbes 400 has actively participated in establishing and growing their own wealth. Hogan's research also shows that the secret of these first-generation millionaires is the can-do work ethic they learned from their parents. Real millionaires aren't waiting around for someone else to hand them a fortune. Instead, they got to work with fierce determination, focusing their energies on long-term goals. Your personal wealth or retirement plan shouldn't depend on someone else dying and leaving you a fortune. 
Consider Thomas, who grew up in the Midwest and started with literally nothing. He had an alcoholic father and a mother who struggled with mental health issues. Due to all these, he was in and out of different foster homes as a child, and both his parents died early. Thomas's childhood taught him two important lessons. First, he learned that drinking alcohol would lead him away from future success. Second, he knew that he did not like being poor. Thomas went to college in the 1960s and graduated with a math degree before being drafted into the Vietnam War. He taught math in a few different colleges for his entire career, spending 37 years in education before retiring with a net worth of $2.6 million. His secret was that he always paid himself first, stayed away from debt, paid for everything he bought with cash, worked extra hours, and made wise investments. Chapter 4. Luck doesn't guarantee success. Wealth is not built randomly. As long as you believe that only lucky or special people can become millionaires, you will never become one yourself. You might think of all the different reasons why you could never build wealth, but people who are winning financially see opportunity around every corner. Almost all the millionaires Hogan talked to in his research shared similar stories of building wealth slowly, avoiding unnecessary risks, and doing the same simple investing practices across many years. If you want to become a millionaire yourself, it's time to let go of the get-rich-quick view of investing that leads most people into debts. Instead, you need to do what most millionaires do. Understand risk, pick investments that balance the risk and reward you're comfortable with, and never get distracted with opportunities from people who don't know anything about investments. The problem isn't that investing doesn't work. The problem is that most people don't have an understanding of risk. Where people start to get confused, though, is by thinking that all risk is bad. Risk is tied to reward, and the more chances you take, the more reward you could achieve. Millionaires balance their risks by sticking with proven, consistent investments with long-term track records. Many millionaires grow their wealth by investing in growth stock mutual funds through their company retirement plans. Research showed that 79% of millionaires used employer-sponsored plans like the 401k to build their wealth. That's because the 401k and other employer-sponsored plans generally provide a way to participate in relatively stable investments, get tax-favored growth on your returns, possibly get a match from your employer, and set your retirement savings on autopilot through paycheck deductions. Understand that it takes years of consistent investing to reach millionaire status. Did you know, according to Chris Hogan's research, the average millionaire hit the $1 million mark for the first time at 49 years old after years of hard work. Only 5% of millionaires achieve this feat in less than 10 years. Chapter 5. Your daily decisions determine how far you go on your journey toward amassing wealth. People see someone who is winning financially, and they assume that person has some special qualification, some trick or training that isn't available to everyday people. They've fallen for the myth that wealthy people have some specific advantage over others for wealth building maybe with an expensive private school education or a high-paying, powerful job. The truth is that anyone can be a millionaire, but too many people see a degree from a certain school as an automatic pass to obtaining wealth. A college degree shows that you have what it takes to work toward and accomplish a long-term goal. It also gives you opportunities that you may not have otherwise. Society today is pushing people toward lies about debt, credit cards, student loans, home equity lines of credit, and overspending. When it comes to building wealth, though, the ones who come out on top are the ones who went against the flow and chose a new destination for themselves. Many people care more about assigning blame for their problems than finding solutions. However, personal responsibility is dominant among everyday millionaires. If you want to change your circumstances, you need to be more conscious of all your money choices. Personal responsibility is about owning your wins and losses and then moving forward with the lessons you learned. Your destiny, good or bad, is in your hands. The wealthy don't rely on luck. They rely on tried and true methods for building wealth. They focus on things they can control and align their daily habits to the goals they've set for themselves. You need to stay motivated throughout your journey toward building wealth. Your motivation can come from anywhere. Wherever it comes from, though, you have to harness it and turn it into energy to accomplish your millionaire goals. Millionaires are motivated by what they learn from their parents and what they hope to pass on to their children. Hogan's study found that 86% of millionaires learned the importance of saving and taking control of their money from their parents. 
If you want your children to become millionaires, then you need to model millionaire behaviors for them. Your coach, mentor, cheerleader, or friend can also help you stay focused on your goals. Chapter 6. When you live on less than you make, you create an avenue for savings and investments. Nobody accidentally ends up retiring with millions in the bank. Victories come from a ton of hard work and thousands of daily decisions. Hogan's study of over 10,000 millionaires showed a pattern of intense intentionality that dominated their lives. They measured every decision and determined how they would impact their lives. When you decide to do something, you're making a conscious choice about what you want to do, and you're taking the time to measure the pros and cons. You may not get it right every time, but you're intentional about what you do with your life. Wealthy men and women demonstrate their discipline by living on less than they make, saving for big purchases and spending wisely. Millionaires don't accidentally live on less than they make. They do it on purpose because they have a budget. Your budget shows you all the twists and turns that are coming up each month. A budget helps you identify money leaks, all the little holes in your spending habits that let your money leak out of your wallet without you even realizing what's going on. Your budget can be as simple as a sheet of paper, or you could use an online budgeting tool and mobile app to create and track your spending. The next step is just as important. You have to stick to the budget. As you get started, you can set three priorities to get the biggest chunk of your budget. These should be the first things you spend money on each month. First, you need to practice generous giving. Second, make sure you are planning for saving and investing. Third, if you have any type of debt except a mortgage, you need to pay that debt off as quickly as possible. If you're married, your budget must be a team effort. You need to have a budget meeting with your partner every month. In that meeting, work together to plan out your spending for the month ahead. No budget is perfect and minor adjustments should be expected throughout the month, especially if budgeting is a new practice. Chapter 7. Set goals help you stay the course and can prevent you from deviating to less profitable ventures. You need to have a mix of long-term and short-term goals. As important as these big goals are, though, you also need to add in short-term goals regularly. You can't expect to stay motivated throughout a long journey unless you see wins all along the way. Knocking out short-term goals gives you a sense of accomplishment and encouragement as you continue to attack your long-term goals. It lets you see that your plan is working, even if you don't have a $1 million net worth yet. Also, you need to write your goals down. If they're in your head, they're still hopes and dreams. They don't become goals until you take the bold step of putting them on paper. But it isn't just about writing any goal down. Your goals have to be smart. Specific, measurable, achievable, relatable, and time-sensitive. Consider Catherine, who grew up in a single-parent household after her mom passed away when she was young. She idolized her dad and wanted to be a pilot just like him, even though women weren't commonly accepted as pilots at the time. Catherine set that goal for herself and never let it go. And by age 26, she started working as a pilot for a small regional airline. As she began to earn greater income, Catherine set her sights on financial independence. She started reading books on real estate and even took a class to learn about investments. Today, Catherine has reached her goal of financial independence with a $3.4 million net worth. Every aspect of your life needs to grow, and you can work toward this by diversifying your goals. If you plan to retire early, you should set some money aside in a good growth stock mutual fund outside of your retirement accounts. One thing that often gets overlooked by a lot of future millionaires is the bridge period. That's the period between the time you stop working and the time you're able to start withdrawing funds from your retirement accounts. As you plan your retirement dream, simply set a retirement age target, figure out how much money you'll need to live on, and make sure you're on track to have that much set aside for each year of your early retirement until you can access your retirement accounts without penalty. Chapter 8. Millionaires are hard workers who are ready to do all it takes to achieve their goals. Wealthy people do a lot of meticulous work to achieve their success. Many people use their lack of time, intelligence, or a good-paying job to excuse their financial instability. What many people fail to realize is that your salary, smartness, and age do not matter. It's about what you do with what you have and how hard you are willing to work. When you boost your work ethic and output, you immediately boost your wealth-building potential. The truth is, hard work looks like luck to the outside world. People who can't work hard find it difficult to picture someone else sacrificing and saving for many years. But what these people see as luck is a matter of discipline, persistence, and hard work. 
Too many people view their jobs as a chore, and that's a terrible way to go through life. Hogan's research showed that 96% of net worth millionaires enjoyed what they did for a career. Your work should take you a little closer to your ultimate goal every single day. Every paycheck, every 401k or other retirement account contributions, every promotion, they're all individual steps on your journey to financial independence. If you want to take a step closer to that goal, then make these three things a priority. Get up early so you don't miss what might be your most productive hours of the day. Find a book, class, podcast, or online training that can immediately impact how well you do your job. Do some exercise each morning. It doesn't matter what you do for a living, how many degrees you have, or how smart you think you are. You always need to learn more so you can do a better job. If you never went to college, you might want to consider it. Better your mind, better your skill set, and better your kids. No matter if you've been lazy or unmotivated in the past, you can do better. It may not be easy, but there are things you can do every single day to improve your work ethic. Even if you don't see an instant increase in your salary or net worth, you're investing in yourself. Chapter 9. Consistency is the key that brings all your efforts together and reveals results. You can take responsibility, you can be intentional, you can set goals, and you can work hard. But if you don't do these things repeatedly, then you'll never get the results you want. Too often, people act like consistency is a bad thing. They complain about being bored with the same thing all the time. However, consistency builds momentum. Millionaires don't change their plan midstream if it's working for them, and they don't stop halfway to the goal. Becoming a millionaire requires you to stick to all the long-term choices you make. If you want to become one of America's millionaires, you have to commit yourself to the long, hard work of getting there. A millionaire mindset isn't just about money. Money is important, but it's not the most important thing. A successful life is about character, commitment, responsibility, intentionality, hard work, and goal setting in every part of life. That's the power of consistency. Millionaires get a picture in their minds of what they want their lives to look like, and they do whatever it takes to accomplish that vision. Consistency doesn't just happen on its own, but requires planning, preparation, patience, and passion. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Will Durant As you try to stay consistent, ensure that you are on the right path. Always talk to your investment professional or your company's 401k representative to get the current guidelines for investment. While the 401k gives you an easy way to invest, you don't want to mentally check out of the whole process. Your 401k provider will keep you informed at least once a quarter of how your investments are doing. That quarterly update is your 401k statement, and it shows the state of your account, just like your monthly bank statement does. Like anything else with investing, you need to focus on the long-term plan, not the short-term gains. Conclusion Chris Hogan's research shows that there are more millionaires in the country today than ever before. Almost 11 million of them. This evidence debunks the myth that wealthy people didn't earn their wealth, take wild risks with their money, or have better education and jobs. Hogan found that the typical millionaire has a public or state school degree and a normal job with a normal salary, rather than any unfair advantages. These myths are often used by people to excuse a lack of effort to rationalize why they aren't winning with money. What is the truth? You can do better, no matter your background, income, or education. And ultimately, you are the one with the power to accomplish your money goals. A typical American millionaire takes responsibility for themselves, their wealth, and their needs. They're intentional about what they're doing and where they want their lives to go. They set up goals and keep those goals front and center until they achieve them. They work hard to maintain their wealth, and they stay consistent in their long-term goals. You need to get a vision for financial freedom. The first step to do this is to know where you stand, calculate your net worth, and gauge your financial situation. The second step is to dream big about your goals and share with a trusted friend, spouse, or family. To give your dreams a push, you need to confirm your target by determining how long you need to work, how much interest you can accumulate over the years, and other necessary information. You must be intentional about your money. Have a budget, set realistic goals, and speak with an investment professional. If others can become millionaires through their own sheer will and determination, you can too. Try this. Come up with a monthly budget and try to stick to it. You can also make a list of your financial goals and share it with family and friends so they can keep you motivated.